hey you guys welcome back to yet another video we are gonna do this super super summer spring set like it was so fun doing this set you guys like she pretty much just let me do whatever i want to do and this is what we came up with so i'm super excited to show you a little bit of how i did this and yeah let's get into it okay you guys so i'm super happy now that i've done i always edit um i edit the video first of what i want to keep in the video and then i go back and i do the voiceover so when i began to edit this video i initially thought that i had cut out all of the rhinestone part but i actually got it in here so um i'm just going to be showing you all uh, what I did on one hand I'm not gonna be showing you both hands just because it's super repetitive I did the same exact thing on both hands so um yeah that's what we're gonna do and y'all I'm so like I know I'm gonna point out everything that I should have done better in this video so that you guys do not make the same mistakes but I am still super happy about how they came out. I just wish I did a few more things at the end. But I told her if something goes wrong, then to let me know. But I'm going to go over all of that with you all. And yeah, so right here, I am doing the uh, French cut. I think th this is called the French cut. I don't know. I don't know why I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why I don't know what this is called by now, but I'm pretty sure this is French cut and, um, I'm doing it manually by myself instead of using a French cutter. So, um, what you just saw me do right there is I'm just making sure that they're all the same size and the same length as far as how far down the nail is going. Um, this cover is Cover Flamingo by Young Nails. Super, super pretty and it goes really good with any skin tone. So that is usually my go-to for um, a pink nude or I will use Yum Yum, um, which is on my website. But either one will do. They're both super cute. Um, and yeah, you guys, this actually went, I was so, I was so surprised at myself at how fast I was laying this acrylic right here. You guys, this is in real time. I did not speed this up. Um, but yeah, some of it, this is, this is sped up. This part is sped up, but you guys, I was going like really fast laying this acrylic. Even she said it. Cause I told her, I tell her, I told her before she even came, I was like, okay, bring a snack girl because I take a really long time to do nails and the, the, honestly the longest part was the nails however that didn't bother us so much as um how long the soak off took I gave her a soak off and you guys I did the worst job with soaking her nails off just because I went so slow and I went so slow because I did not drill aggressively enough so <laughs> I was so scared to like, I don't know. I was so scared to like burn her or keep the drill in the same area. So I didn't, um, I wasn't drilling off a lot before I soaked them, soaked her old nails off. So that's just a whole different story. But anyway, we ended up getting them off. She was okay by the time she left. This set took four and a half hours, you guys. This set took four and a half hours to do. So she was at my house for about six hours y'all <laughs> but um it was all worth it she really really likes her nails and I was like super relieved I was like hyperventilating while doing her nails because this is somebody who this is my first time doing her nails and this is somebody who always gets her nails done so in my head when she told me that I just felt like she had like super high expectations and I was, it just made me nervous. Like it made me super, super nervous. I was so scared that I was just going to mess something up and she was going to notice it because she always gets her nails done. So whew, it was, it was a time, it was a time, but she was super, super nice and really friendly. I actually, um, she actually was referred to me by, uh, my friend who I practice on and she came and she let me record a video of practicing on her too. So, 
um it worked out and yeah it was it was super fun to do i really really love this color i i actually got some of this color scheme from tip top shape nails um as far as like the neon colors um but the design the rest of the design she wanted like the jewels and stuff actually came from this picture right here i'm gonna link it y'all know that i did a set this is my set that i did um a couple months back and everybody loved it like everybody thought that was super super cute so when i showed her that picture she was like um she was like oh my god like i really 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 like that like i keep going back to that so i think that's what i want and i was like okay but do you want it that plain because she says she's super colorful like she loves super colorful nails and so i was like okay well how about we make the white a marble neon and she was like oh my god i love how you think so that's how we came up with that and i always see tip top shape nails do like really really colorful um designs on her nails so i kind of picked colors that were similar to some of the pictures that i like from her and then i meshed it with my own design so it came out really really cute um and yeah I, we loved it we really really loved it now i kept this other hand in the video because i wanted to show y'all my prep and um what i am prepping with or for the adhesion i'm using the mia secret dehydrator and then i'm going in with the mia secret primer and then on top of that i'm going in with protein bomb by young nails primer so three different things i'm using on her nails and you guys a little tip um when you are doing someone's nails make sure that you are doing the primer and all that hand each hand at a time do not put the primer on both hands at one time because by the time you get to the other hand the primer might have got like lint in it or dust from from doing the other hand and you just want the best adhesion so just i mean you don't have to but that's what i do just to make sure that nothing that it hasn't been wiped off because you know people move their hands by the time and by the time you get to that hand something may have happened so um that's what i do like i will prep and prime one hand well i'll say prime because i prep both hands at the same time as far as drill um but i will prime one hand at a time so i just went ahead and i did the same thing on the other hand um i didn't even know that i left this part in here but i think i was just showing you all um up close how i did the french the french uh french design with the acrylic so then i'm just taking a file and i got these files off of shein do not recommend they um i mean i guess they're okay if you're just practicing and you need something cheap but i i don't recommend them for really a clean clean cut I recommend them more so for like if you want to scuff up a nail or if you just want to do a little quick filing on the sides. These are 8080 grit files. I think I can't remember how much they were, but they are on Shein. If you just look up 8080 grit files or just nail files, they will pop up. Um, but I, y'all know I always use my Pana 8080 grits and that's what I like the most. So that is what I go to and that's what I'm going to be sticking with since i did try out the shein ones and i did not like them as much as my panna as my panna 8080 grit files and you can find the panna 88 grit files on amazon they're always up there everything panna is on amazon you guys i'm also using the panna i think it's the mahogany brush size 12 in this video if you all are wondering i know some people like to ask me what brush i'm using um Somebody also asked me what size do I recommend? I recommend if you are starting out a 10 or a 12. However, I am now, um, the next brush that I purchase is definitely going to be a 14. Um, a 12 works for me, but not for everyone's nail beds. And some people have wider nail beds. So I am going to be picking up a brush size 14 next time I do order a brush. I don't know when I will because I have so many brushes now. Um, but yeah you guys excuse me y'all know my allergies be acting up every time i do a video it seems like my allergies are just worse but <laughs> 
but um yeah i'm going to invest in a size 14 brush because i feel like i need to start laying down a, um, a little bigger beads than what i can do with the 12 and the 10 size brushes so that's another reason why um i just want i feel like i'm progressing more in my application so yeah right here i'm gonna start off and we're gonna just go ahead and get into the marble designs this is how i do my marble i know i <laughs> i have to redo a video on how to marble because y'all i can't even even though it wasn't that long ago i can't even believe i told y'all to marble like that like do not make your beads extra extra wet I, I will link the video up here in case y'all want to go get a laugh because I don't know what I was talking about in that video, but I definitely made a video giving y'all, I mean, you can still do it that way, but there's definitely a, a cleaner way of marbling and this would be it. So, um, this is how I marble now and I do not make my beads as wet. I just try to mix them as good as I can when applying, like as I apply it um but yeah you guys these i i'm so obsessed with these nails i only used three colors oh yeah let me tell you what colors i use so i used uh i used dynamic nail supply um the glow i think it's called yellow green and then um two of these colors glow in the dark so i use that one and then i use the savvy land uh passion that is on amazon it came in like a kit of like I don't know 16 acrylics they come in really really small bottles but you can find those on amazon just search savvy land glow in the dark acrylic and it will probably come up with that whole kit um and that's the orange that i use the savvy land one and the yellow looking one is the dynamic glow yellow green and then um i also use the one the color that i used on my wife in that video i will link that video right here as well um make sure y'all watching those videos after you watch this one by the way but anyway so i use the other that lime green that you see that is hotline bling from not polish so i use three different brands um actually i use four different brands because the french part is uh cover flamingo by young nails and it all came together you guys i really really loved how it came together and yeah I, I don't i don't know what else to say i don't know what else to say i just really like i could not stop looking at her nails and we were both like oh my god this came out so so cute now i will say when we get to that part well we're not on that part yet but i'm gonna just tell you anyway so the only thing that i wish i would have done differently is one i wish that i would have filed her cuticles a little more with the 5-1 bit but y'all i swear i was just so nervous i was so nervous that i just completely forgot to do some of her nails like i i i cleaned up her cuticles with the 5-1 bit on some nails but not all of them and i don't know what i was thinking about doing that so i told her if anything start lifting or anything like that i will do her nails again or fix them or whatever the case may be if that does happen because I know when you do not seal the cuticles, there's a possibility that your nails can lift. Now on this middle finger, you see me put in pink and I did not put pink on the other ones. The reason why we're doing that is because in the midst of this, she was like, um, she had this outfit that literally had all of these colors in it, but the only color that was missing was pink. So I was like, okay, well we already started the other two. So let's put pink on the middle finger in case you want to flick somebody off. like. <laughs> we made a whole joke about it so she was like okay so let's do the middle finger with a little pink plus the other colors so we did that and i'm like actually glad that we didn't do them on all of the nails because the pink was like a little darker than the rest of the colors so it kind of like dimmed it down and it wasn't as bright so i'm kind of glad that we only did it on that one finger and not all of them because i feel like the look wouldn't have popped as much as it did but nonetheless it still came out super super cute guys i mean like really cute and i was super proud of it um and yeah i'm just showing y'all how i did it on all of the nails i'm just taking like two different colors on each uh side of the brush if y'all want me to do another how to marble video sometime in the near future just let me know down below and i'll definitely do that since i have a little better way of doing it now 
and um it came together really cute and it was super super fast like if you don't know how to do anything else marbling may be your best friend because it's just something that you don't have to be really precise with so i feel like that i feel like marble is a beginner friendly um nail art design i don't know if everybody feels that way but it's like i feel like it's really beginner friendly just because you don't have to be neat like you can pretty much put two colors on a nail and swirl it and be done with it you just have to watch to not um blend them too much or it will become a little muddy and like too mesh together and you will lose that marble design but yeah i have so much filled in my brain with what i want to say on this video that i keep skipping parts but what i wanted to say about what i um did wrong was one the cuticle issue that i just told you about and two you will see it in the video um a little bit i don't show too much of it just because i um accidentally got out of frame but when it comes to capping nails like this since you see that i'm laying down marble designs and it is not leveled to the french cut part um what you're gonna have to do what i didn't do was when i capped this with clear I was capping the bottom part, which is the marble part. I was capping that with clear, but I was not leveling it to the French, the French cut design. And that's what I should have done. But before even doing that, I don't know if this is making sense, but before even doing that, I should have filed my French cut design to where I wanted it to be. And I, what I mean by that is I should have filed my French cut design to the level and the um the thickness of how i wanted the com the entire nail to be and then that would have made it so much easier because the only thing that i would have that i would have had to do was go in with clear acrylic and place it over everything and make it leveled to the um to the french cut part and then just file it down you know evenly and it would have been perfectly even but instead i did not do that and all of my french cuts were kind of like different thickness like two completely different thickness from each nail and i didn't make it smooth before laying the clear acrylic so that kind of messed me up and i had to file so much you guys like when i say i had to file so much that added on honestly i feel like the filing alone added on 45 minutes so that's what people say when they are talking to you about um your application being as clean and neat as you need it to be so just to avoid having to file so much had i done what i just said that i should have done the filing process would not have been what it was so now that i know and hopefully i remember next time i do a design like this i know to do the french do the french uh design file it before i even put down any marble um or whatever i'm gonna put at the bottom file it to where i want it to be like the thickness of that french design should be the thickness that you want your entire nail to be before you lay the rest of the nail so then when you cap it with clear you are only capping the bottom part and when you file the thickness away from everything it comes out leveled and if you've seen videos of people who really know how to do um french cut designs then you will see exactly what i'm talking about when they file it away and the french cut is revealed like that's what i mean so um that's the only those are really the only two things you guys that i feel like i messed up on and that i wish i could have redone um but other than that i still love how they came out oh and you will also see <laughs> you will also see in the video uh, in, a, in a second when i'm filing a little i don't file too much on camera but one of the parts where i filed i had her face her hand towards me and you do that because that gives you the straightest um that gives you the straightest clean cut filing that you can do with how they'll see their nails if that makes sense and i'll show you I'll, I'll bring it up again when it goes over that part but i only did it on her right hand i did not do it on her left hand so if you i don't know if y'all noticed my wife said that she didn't notice and 
the girl who I did her nails, she said that she didn't notice, but I noticed. You'll see at the end, or you might have seen in the in the beginning when I showed you her nail set, that the one on our left when we're viewing it, which is her right hand, is more clean cut than the one on our right. And that's because I did not file them straight on. Look at how beautiful these are. I kept this part in, I was just spraying it down with alcohol. Make sure that you are using um, lint free wipes because I didn't have any more and I was using this and I kept seeing like little specks of the blue paper towel in there and it was really irritating because I didn't want it to get caught in any acrylic. But um, for a fact, like I, uh, I just wish that I would have done those three things which was this part right here. You see how I'm having her face her hand towards me and I'm filing and this is making sure that everything is completely even. Always, always, always do this with your clients. No matter how long or short the nails are, I promise you it makes a huge difference, like a huge difference. But can we get a clap? for how not bulky I made her nails. Like I, I think I did them almost a little too thin, but I feel like they will hold up. If they don't hold up, then of course I'm gonna fix it for her, but I'm just glad I did. I rather, I rather somebody have a little um, thinner nails than too thick because I can't stand the way thick, thick nails look. They just look like big bulbs on your fingernails. Like it's so ugly. <laughs> Now this right here is the part that I thought I cut out and I honestly did not mind if this part was cut out because literally, I'm gonna show the picture again right here, but literally the picture, um, this is what we went off of. She wanted something similar to that design and she pretty much said that she loved the hearts, she loved the flames coming out of the hearts, she loved the um, stones coming down from the hearts and so, it's pretty much just repetitive of what I did in that video. Um, so I did link the video in the beginning of this video. If you want to go back and watch it later, um, you can find it. I think it, I can't, I think I called it like woo bling or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what it was titled. I can't remember, but, um, yeah, this design, you guys, honestly, these nails were super, super easy. They were not hard at all. Like they weren't hard. And I say that from a beginner standpoint, I know y'all like, girl, you're not a beginner no more, but I still feel like I'm a beginner because I have so much more to learn and I'm just now getting the hang of doing certain things. Um, and it still took me a very long time. Like <laughs> it took me a very long time to do these. And I feel like other people could probably do them a little faster than what I could do them. But yeah, I'm just going ahead and I'm gluing down all the stones and I tried to keep most of it in. I obviously only showed you um, what I did on this hand. And after I glued the stones down, I went back and I top coated, which I don't show you, but I went back and I top coated everything with uh, the Dynamic Nail Supply Tempered Glass Top Coat. Y'all know that is my favorite top coat and that is the only top coat that I will use on somebody else just because I wanna keep their nails shining throughout their whole set and the whole time that they have the set. Um, but yeah, right here, I'm just making the little, the little flames. And um, as I did on the last set, I started off with bigger stones at the bottom. And when I, excuse me, when I worked, I just had McDonald's. Don't eat McDonald's, it's like the worst thing for you ever, but. I'm sorry. Um, I am putting bigger uh, rhinestones. These are AB crystals uh, at the bottom and working my way up to the top with smaller ones. So they gradually get smaller towards the top. The two that I have right above the heart are from the um, kit that I got off of Shein, you guys. I got this really big, um, if you haven't seen my Shein videos, go check those out. But I got this really big kit off of Amazon. I don't, I mean, off of Amazon, off of Shein. I can't remember how much it was, to be honest. I don't know if it was like 12 or $9. I don't know. But if you check my Shein videos, you will see everything that I've gotten from there. And um, it has just different color stones, which are really, really pretty. Um, but I also have some new stones that I got you guys. 
and I'm going to probably upload that video today as well. I might give y'all two videos in one day. I don't know just yet, but I went to Hobby Lobby. I didn't even know that I had a Hobby Lobby in Virginia, you guys. Like I can't, y'all have been telling me, people always tell me on, um, on my YouTube videos, like y'all always comment down below um and say something about Hobby Lobby and I kind of like look overlook the comments because I just assume that we didn't have a Hobby Lobby in Virginia now granted the Hobby Lobby is 45 minutes from me but I don't mind driving to go get what I need so um I definitely recorded I definitely recorded uh when we went I went with my wife and my son over the weekend and I was like, well, let me just, you know, record shopping in here since everybody tells me to go there. And they have like so much stuff, you guys. Like I didn't even know. They don't have too much of nail stuff that I would get except for some rhinestones that I found. But I'm definitely going to show you guys um, my little finds in there. And I think that should be pretty fun. I think that should be pretty fun to um, to go over. It's, it's a quick video. But yeah, you guys. Back to this one. I'm um I'm just putting on some AB crystals. I got I don't know where these AB crystals came from. I have I have so many AB crystals like it's ridiculous. But I did get these hearts last minute off of Amazon, which were super super expensive. But anyway, this is how the look came out, you guys. I'm so so happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoy doing these nails and yeah, I hope you guys love it. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Make sure that you have the notification bell on and I will see y'all in the next one. I love y'all so much. Mwah. Bye. Mm -hmm.